here in College Station. Um, team had their first practice uh, this morning. We'll head back to the pool this afternoon for practice number two. Uh, meet starts tomorrow evening with uh, the two relays coming up um, on both sides, looking for some strong performances right out the gate. And then um, obviously from there, the, the meet really starts to open up Wednesday through uh, Saturday. So excited for the whole crew, um, men and women uh, swimming and diving, obviously. So uh, hoping to fire on all cylinders and uh, feel like we've got a really strong group. Um, obviously some, some strong fifth years on the women's side uh, and then a strong senior class on the men's side. That's really propelling us forward here and then looking for some of the freshmen sophomores to really step up here this week. So excited for uh, the full week in college station and um, yeah, ready to get things going tomorrow. All right. We'll open it up for questions. So Matt to George from swimming world. Um, I wonder what uh, what's this like for you? Uh, this is, I guess, your second go around. Do, are there things that you feel like you know more coaching wise to deal with the challenges of an SEC championships that maybe were a little bit newer to you last year? What's that growth for you personally been like? Yeah, so this is my third SEC. So I, I started in the middle of the season a um, couple years back there. So yeah, third SECs. I feel like yeah, each each year I've definitely grown and, and learned a lot. Um, I think this season, knowing that, um, yeah, just the team looks different each year, right? So just uh, taking taking this season for what it is, and um, I think as a coach, learning a lot about how to manage uh, a five day meet, how to uh, manage a team through a five day meet, and a staff as well. So um, the length of the meet, and then obviously the the emotions of the meet, the intensity of the meet for five days, and and just knowing that. Um, there's a lot packed into this to SEC championships. You know, it's a it's a lot of emotions, and um, excited for that. But I think also growing and and more um, experienced and and ready to take that on more this year. I wonder when you talk about managing, um, what's it been like for swimmers like Ryan and Kenzie, especially that they go. I I know Ryan didn't eventually get to short course worlds, but having that as part of their schedule and then kind of managing the goals with each of them of where NCAs falls, where you, where us trials falls, they've got a lot on their plate for, I guess the next year plus trying to get to Paris. What, what's it like managing it, especially with those two? Yeah. Those two special cases, right? Like they're, they're very special athletes um, and special people. And I think their vision is very, they're very laser focused. So they think uh, long term, and and that's a great thing. And then I think as coaches, um, you know, we want to we want to walk them through that and kind of navigate them through the long term, but then also keep them focused on the now and the present. And so um, that's always a fine line. I feel like with with the two of them because they are such forward thinkers, which what's makes what, that makes them great. Um, but but keeping them here and present, and and this week's meet is going to be really important because. Um, at the end of the day, we do feel like they can they can swim really fast now. They can swim really fast at NCAA's, and then you know, looking at um, their season as a whole, they've 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 had some pockets where yeah, they've they've repped the international stage or they're going to rep the international stage, and um, we have to prepare them for that as well. But I think um, yeah, to answer your question, just keeping them uh, keeping them prepared for the long term long term, but keeping them focused on the now. Uh, in, in terms of just the relay situation on the women's side, you guys probably aren't, uh, I don't know how to say this, aren't where you'd want wanted to be in at the beginning of the year. What has that challenge been like for you of trying to manage, uh, you know, I guess you guys have what, four A-cut swims with not quite the teams, not yep. quite the personnel that you want. What's that challenge been like? Yeah, you you kind of hit it right on the head. Like it's been a challenge, you know. Um, I think for us, uh, knowing that the importance of relays is always there, knowing that um, we still got some firepower uh, on 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 the women's side that um, that I view is just like people just got to step up now. Um, we've got some spots that, especially on the freestyle legs, um, you know, obviously we're gonna we're gonna need people to step up and and fill some fill some spots there. Um, but I still feel very strongly that we can have some really great relays. Um, I do think that uh, we do have some experience still on the women's side um, and we're really going to uh, lean on them to to kind of lead the way there. And then these, uh, you know, freshmen and sophomore, like I said, really got to, um, you know, step up. But I do think that 
there's things we've done this season, just on the second half of the season, even that have um, put us in a good position to, to give them a, a good opportunity. And I think they're ready for it. How much do you think the culture of what you guys have grown with these relays? I mean, this isn't a, it's not a one-off and it's not like it's just those four girls that have gotten you to NCAAs. This has been several years now of the way that this program has built NCAA contender relays. Does that kind of help in these moments of maybe there's younger girls that have that younger women that have that hunger of they wanted to be in those spots and now they happen to be in those spots because of things out of their control. Absolutely. I think, um, yeah, the, the way has been paved, um, was kind of what we've talked about. Like, um, there's definitely, uh, uh, a foundation that's been set and now it's time for, yeah, the people who came here to, you know, we've got freshmen and sophomores that, you know, when they were recruited, they came here to, to be on those relays eventually. Right. And, um, you know, timing sometimes in life, like, timing of things doesn't turn out exactly the way you're planning or the way that you think. But uh, at the end of the day, that's why they're here at Alabama to step up and be on those relays and contribute um, when we need them to. And so I think, like I said, they're, they're eager for the opportunity and um, we, we still have experience on, on those relays as well. That's coming back, which I think will be very helpful for us too. And I'm curious what Morgan's role in all of this is. I mean, I guess she's, um, I take it, is she still around and traveling with you guys, even though she's injured? And I know she has so much experience as a swimmer. And I imagine this being her, um, because this was her fifth year, correct? So this was her kind of? Correct. Yeah, she's not traveling with us. Okay. um, But obviously the impact Morgan's had on the program has been huge, right? Um, She's contributed in so many different ways. So for her, I feel like her, um, the impact she's she's made on the team is obviously still felt. And I feel like, uh, like I said, there's been a, a paved path and she was obviously a big part of that. So, um, yeah, the 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 team currently where it stands. Yeah, she she's not traveled. She didn't travel with us or anything like that. What's that like emotionally with someone like that, that um, I think it's fair to say Morgan and I I can remember watching. I live in the Pennsylvania area, so I remember watching Morgan when she was in high school, but I think it's fair to say that she has more than maxed out her ability of of what kind of awesome college career she's had. I wonder what that's like emotionally for you guys to see someone fall to an injury um, at their last chance in college. Was was that difficult emotionally to kind of get over that as as a team? And what was that adjustment period like? I feel like at the end of the day, like everyone's everyone's got a unique journey, right? Everyone has to deal with different things and different challenges. And I think, um, a lot of times we want it to, to be this upward, uh, you know, linear, uh, perfect line that goes straight up. Um, but sometimes there's kind of those ups and downs in the middle there. So I think just as, you know, her journey was like that, I think the team is like that a little bit too, right? There's always going to be different challenges within any given season. And, um, this happened to be one for ours this season. And, um, but don't, don't feel like, uh, yeah, don't feel like that's anything to, um, to hold us back. I think in a lot of ways, it's going to help us be better. And so that's kind of how we viewed it. And I think ultimately we want, you know, every individual to have their own, uh, you know, great experience and you want them to end on a great note. Um, and I, I still think that, um, yeah, there's, there's good things ahead for, for her and for the team.